Japan's opposition has been quick to pounce on new Prime Minister Taro Aso after one of his ministers resigned. Transport Minister Nariaki Nakayama quit today after just four days into the job. Local media say Kazuyo Shikaneko will take over. Opposition leader Ichiro Ozawa says he is not surprised at the resignation. He adds that Mr. Aso should bear some of the blame. Mr. Ozawa has vowed to pile on the pressure on the new Prime Minister. The Chief Cabinet Secretary admits that Mr. Nakayama's resignation is damaging for the new administration. Now he says the Aso government will work hard to win back the public's confidence. The outgoing transport minister has come under fire for a string of controversial remarks. Mr. Nakayama's fate was sealed when he called Japan's biggest teachers' union a cancer in the education system. He said schools with unionized teachers had lower standards. Mr. Nakayama had earlier described Japan as ethnically homogeneous. His remark drew protests from Japan's indigenous Ainu people. They have long suffered discrimination. Mr. Nakayama had to apologize and withdraw his comments. His resignation is a blow for Mr. Aso. The new leader is widely expected to call a snap election to break a deadlock in a divided parliament. Our Japan Bureau Chief Michio Ishida says Mr. Aso is likely to explain the situation tomorrow in his first parliament speech. Well, Mr. Nakayama's um, series of verbal blunders seems to have been calling strong criticism even from within his ruling party members. Uh, you know, it was one after another on the same day he did not retract his remarks over the teachers' union yesterday, nor was he willing to today. Chief Cabinet Secretary Takeo Kawamura held a news conference. Mr. Kawamura said the diet session will be taking place, the budget session will be held, the Prime Minister should explain then. Tomorrow is in fact an important day for Mr. Aso. He's expected to give his first policy speech in Parliament. Michio also told us that damage has already been done to Mr. Aso's standing in the public eye. Well, the Chief Cabinet Secretary did not rule out the possibility Mr. Nakayama's resignation only five days after the new cabinet was formed could hurt Mr. Aso. And, you know, there's a history. Just look back to what happened last year. One after another, uh, cabinet ministers quit from failing to explain properly on their mishandling of political funds. There was defense minister who referred to the nuclear bombing of uh, Nagasaki by the Americans as something that could not have been avoided. And he was forced to resign. All those resignations hurt the Prime Minister's popularity, so the same could not be ruled out with Mr. Russell.